Byzantium Short Moon Review. Eleanor and Clara are a mother-daughter vampire family, and they move from place to place to avoid being found by a male brotherhood of vampires who consider female vampires to be lesser. And the fact that the mother works in rather works in slash runs a brothel depending on where they what city you know what town they're hiding out in yeah makes them further seem lower class to these you know aristocrat kind of vampires and there's a real the the movie kind of points out why why do you turn why why as a vampire do you turn someone else is it as a sort of upper class privilege like taking in a protege you know finding someone that they that you deem worthy of a richer existence a better life as it were or is it as an emotional connection from love and the the movie is slow paced and the backstory is told gradually in flashbacks that are out of order and it's it's very much a character study rather than a story there's there's not a lot going on and there's certainly very little consequence to what happens and you know, if this was in chronological order, it would be less interesting. But as it is, I was never bored, although it came close in the last fourth. The very start and ending are action scenes, and they kind of serve to grab your attention and keep you watching. And the, the movie does have blood and gore, but it's more of a drama than a horror story, and it's there's a lot of symbolism, metaphor, and it has beautiful cinematography. Neil Jordan really, again, manages to create this gothic horror atmosphere. And the Eleanor, the daughter, has trouble keeping her secret to a frustrating level to where she... Basically, when she meets someone and she talks to them, she almost immediately gives away her secret. And some don't believe her. You know, you you don't believe that she would be this careless, that her mother would put up with her being this careless, because her mother is very de determined to keep their secret. And you don't believe that she hasn't, that they haven't been found out, you know, already when, you know, even even if they don't live very long in any one place, you still don't believe that you know, with with it being this easily revealed, yeah, and the the acting is phenomenal and very restrained because they are these vampires and they kind of have to hide who they are and play along. Maybe Clara was forced into sex work and then she kind of takes charge. She is a she uses the fact that she is sexualized to kind of, yeah, to, in part to be a vigilante, to take out abusive men, and in part to just get by. She usually does, you know, engages in sex work in order to keep the two of them, you know, being, yeah, being able to survive, basically. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.